Hello Floss Tube. Uh, Elizabeth Martinez, Fanta Stitches, here for my Floss Tube update number 101. Um, this is a channel about cross stitch for those of you who might not be aware. Um, today is Saturday afternoon, January 25th, and um, I just got back from a brunch I went to with my older sister at her church, and it was very yummy. <laughs> uh, so, this is a channel about cross-stitch, and I'm going to talk about what I've been working on this week. And, um, and a few other things, not much. Um, I have, for those of you who've been watching before, I want to say welcome to my returning subscribers, and... Uh, welcome back, I should say, and welcome to any new viewers. Um, if you would like more of this channel, um, there's a subscribe button you can hit and a bell uh, you can hit to receive notifications every time I post a new, uh, new update, which is usually every week. Um, anyway, so welcome back, you guys. I hope uh, if you were here last week... Uh, and you that you uh, got the little freebie chart that I did for the uh, to celebrate having hit a hundred uh, videos, um, and that's on the last that's on the last video. And I think I may go ahead and link it to this video as well, just just because um, it's out there. Um. So let's get into it. Let's get started. So I worked, uh, like I, I started to say this, I guess, and I, and I just got sidetracked. Um, last week I talked about 10 minutes to midnight. I've been talking about that off and on since before Christmas, I think. Just a little before Christmas. Something swoopy is going on with my hair. I don't know. I just washed my hair and I can't do a thing with it. I don't know. I, you know, it's funny because you kind of get used to the way you look, and you and you kind of like think about. I don't know how you look, and other people think, "Oh, it's fine," and you think, "That's my hair looks weird." That's uh, <laughs> that's a sidetrack. Um. Anyway, I was talking about. Um. I've been stitching on ten minutes to midnight, and um. <laughs> <laughs> made a boo boo and had to. Un That's what I get for stitching like late at night or something. I guess I I don't know if I'm tired or distracted or whatever, but I end up making goofy mistakes. So I had to unstitch a whole bunch that I had done and restitch it. But I think it's correct now. But uh, yeah. Anyway, um. But, so I worked on that for a couple of days, and I worked on, uh, I had talked about, uh, the Black Rock Angel, uh, chart that I was working on, that I had made a mistake, a couple of mistakes on it, and had redone it, and so I worked on that some on Saturday, and I worked on 10 minutes to midnight, uh, on Sunday, and on Monday, I had a new start. And Wednesday, I had a finish, and uh, and then I went back to 10 minutes to midnight, and then uh, worked last night on, last night I worked on Black Rock Angels, on, on the Black Rock Angel for a while, and I worked, and I, then I just did a new start, to also, it's, it's not a new start, it's an, <laughs> it's, I'll explain it later. Okay, so first of all, I'm, I'm not going to bother with 10 minutes to midnight because I can't really show that to you because that's another uh, design that my sister uh, came up with and um, I'm working on the model stitch for that. So when it's finished, hopefully, you know, I, I, it, I'll get to that. But anyway, so then I worked on Black Rock Angels and again, I'm working on, if I can find it, this one here. Where she's got some doves here. And I had talked about last week how I had had to 
redo her face and I had done one of the doves and I pulled it all out down here and I redid her face and this is actually just the beginning of her wing I talked kept talking about how I was you know had done a wing there's like it, it extends down here so it's long like like uh, like this you know it has long lines like these wings have the long straight lines this one you know so um yeah oh and speaking of this one here i think even though like if you look at it this here you can see those those uh strings the little strings well enough but i thought i realized that everything else here is done with two strands and when i did these little strings i did one strand and i i'm kind of thinking about pulling this out and doing it over again with two strands i i i want to I, I think i'm just going to test on you know some fabric over here and see what it looks like with two strands to see if i like that or maybe i'll wait until i do the one with a mandolin and then do the two strands uh for the strings and see what it looks like i don't know but uh anyway so uh so instead of doing the dove again because i was kind of mad about the fact that i couldn't figure out what i had done wrong so i went back and did more of her dress um i had started to after the dove debacle 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 i can't say it um that was supposed to you know start right here and i don't know if you can kind of see i don't know you can kind of see where i pulled it all out but anyway um so i just went back and did the rest of her dress so i still have a little bit to go here that's all in black and then her her little belt thing uh is going to be gold and then she her arm it comes down here and there's another dove over here and then the rest of her wing and like that so uh uh that's almost done but so but the the doves are are kind of the hard part so i have to do those still so anyway i'm i, I should be able to finish her dress pretty easily um and uh and down here this is going to be gold as well i think that's right uh, anyway uh and then her wing is black also yeah you know. so that's that that one coming along pretty good if i don't mess up that the doves again <laughs> it should be done pretty quickly so now my start and finish and start <laughs> um uh i this is what I'm working on for my uh, Stitch Nanigans uh, Smalls Exchange piece. And I don't mind spoiling it here for, you know, because I doubt that I'm giving away much because I don't think, you know, I, <laughs> I'm not, I don't think that, you know, people who watch this channel are, are liable to, you know, I, anyway, I don't know. So anyway, th this uh, berry basket pin cushion um, was what I chose, and um, this uh, little date, uh, eighteen fifty one date on there. Um, I I don't think this is like a you know a, a reproduction of anything. I think the the designer just chose to do it to sort of you know look old fashioned basically. I I don't I don't think this was from an existing like uh sample or anything like that i don't think i don't have the the little write-up uh handy anyway so this is my version of it if i finish it i did change the date because uh this is for stitch nanigans 2020 so i put the 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 year on here but yeah so this is my my finish um, it's, uh, just DMC threads, and I think this is 28 count, even weave of some sort, and I either, uh, 
coffee or tea dyed it. Yeah, this is just a, a scrap that I had in my stash and um, it was the right size for this little pin cushion. Uh, so I'm going to finish it as a pin cushion with, you know, I'm just going to, it's going to be there. Yeah. And, um, and then last night I started it again. And only this time, uh, this is 22 count, uh, I think Hardanger. Um, and I berry dyed this, uh, uh, quite some time ago when I was <laughs> experimenting on dyeing all kinds of things. Um, I used like, uh, blueberries and raspberries and I want to say strawberries. I don't know. I don't remember. Um, but down here is where the, like the blueberries were sort of you know, touching the fabric, so it stained rather nicely. Um, and again, this is just a little scrap that I that I had. But anyway, so this is the the same design, the beginnings of the same design, but one over one basically, one thread over uh, the one of the hard anger. So it's not super tiny, but it's small enough compared to. Just had it in my hand compared to uh, this one. So the finished one of this side, it, what, this one is only going to be about two inches, you know, either way. When this one is about about four, I think, or something, or eight, four inches each way. So this one is going to be about two, and uh, I have some ideas about how I'm going to finish this one. And speaking of that, I was looking for something suitably old fashioned for the backing fabric of that. And, and I, I don't think I have anything specifically suited for that. So I was kind of looking and, and I may change my mind if I see something I like better, but I chose this, uh, uh, fabric uh, that has like old world map kind of things on it. So, um, it, you know, it's not like, you know, bright. I think everything I have in my fabric stash is either like bright or Christmassy, um, you know, and very sort of modern looking. And I don't have anything kind of, you know, old fashioned looking to match this fabric and I don't know like I said I don't know that I'm gonna go with this sp specifically but for now it matches and if not I'll I might do something else but for now this is my my thinking um, and then I also I was at Walmart went for getting some other stuff and so I got that fabric and I got some, um, these are lobster claw, uh, clasp. Oh. I, I wanted to show that, but I don't want any more glare. And then I got some beading needles. <laughs> Last week I talked about how, uh, I, I, uh, couldn't find my beading needle, but I found it. Um, but someone had suggested that, um, using a, a very, a smaller, a finer, uh, bohin needle and I actually have I have one uh, bohin that I got um, when I I ordered some Weeks Dye Works threads um, from I think the Cottage, Cottage Needle was the uh, Etsy shop that I ordered them from I think it's an Etsy shop anyway uh, but I ordered some threads from them several weeks ago um and um <clears throat> it, it was like in i want to say maybe even october i don't know it was it was quite a while ago um but but they when they sent me those threads they also included a little what they called a baby boheen needle and um 
and I have a few other uh, of those of uh, similar smaller finer needles and some anyway somebody suggested that yeah, I'm using one of those instead of the beading needle to uh, to uh, put beads on the little hedgehog that I have um, so I might do that but I also I just went ahead and bought some uh, beading needle beading needles golly I can't talk today um, just to, to have more um, so I'm gonna put those in my other I have I have a, a little booklet uh, you know needle book thing that I bought at Hobby Lobby and um, <clears throat> and then I also have uh, two needle case things so one I'm trying to keep like some uh, sharps, you know, um, sharper needles that have a little point on them, and then the, the sort of tapestry needles in this little book, and then I have a few that are, you know, random, uh, needles that I got here and there. I think some are, are pointy, sharp, like sewing needles, kind of, because they have a smaller eye, um, and then I have, you know, several, uh, tapestry needles for, for cross stitching most of them came like in you know in kits or whatever where they give you a needle but um so yeah anyway i have a whole bunch <laughs> but i i went ahead and bought the beading beading needles golly um just so in case i, I you know need them or whatever so i think that's that's about it um did i forget anything so what I want to do is I want to finish uh, that that angel and I want to finish 10, ten minutes to midnight and I want to finish <laughs> the uh, the the one over one redux of oops of uh, the berry basket pin cushion goes like this <laughs> like this uh, um and uh we'll see i have like you know for 2020 i would i'm i've been trying to think you know what do i want to do for for mania what do i want to do for to take with me to stitch shenanigans perhaps and what do i want to work on over the course of the year and i i don't really have any specifics in mind i guess i would like to there are things i would like to do i would like to finish the black orc angel series so what i want to do is sort of always keep one of those on my hoop um and keep working on that so that it's sort of an ongoing thing over the course of the year and i think for mania i want to continue to work on the ships the, the four ship patterns that I worked on last uh, last year for Mania. And um, because I can, you know, just sort of pick up, hopefully pick up where I left off and, and uh, keep working on them and um, get that done. I don't know. So I don't... <laughs> go snug. <laughs> I don't have anything... Um, I'm just kind of scattered right now uh, in terms of... I don't have anything ongoing. Snug, don't do that, please. No, no, no. Snug is trying to get into everything. Um, <laughs> let's go do something else, please. Thank you. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I, I just have to go through all my stuff, I think, and, and sort of reset uh, myself and... Um, and do something just decide what i'm going to do i would kind of like to to i have like the stitch nine projects um i have like four and uh, that were that didn't get finished i finished five of the of the nine project but they were smaller things like like the little eeyore and the bees um it wasn't tiny, but it was, you know, small-ish compared to the four that didn't get finished. And that was 
the piano cat and the wolf and the Santa's house and something else. I don't know. But they had those, the, the four that I didn't finish had kind of a lot of confetti kind of, um, you know, uh, hard to do, just, you know. But I would like, oh, Daily Walk in the Woods, I think that was the fourth one. And uh, so I would like to get them done and get them just, you know, off the list, if you will. Um, but I would also, you know, we, I think uh, Michelle Rudy was talking about uh, 10, like 10 projects in 2020. So not necessarily uh, cross-stitch things, but, you know, just 10 projects altogether. And um, I really kind of only do cross-stitch when it comes to crafting at this point. Um, uh, so, so I may just pick 10 more or I mean, include those four and then add to them so that I come up with 10. I don't know. Like I said, I'm kind of scattered right now and, and, uh, I don't have any concrete plans or I've struggled to come up with, uh, concrete plans, but, um, but I, I would like to get something else done. I don't know. So maybe I will make it a stated goal to finish the Black Rock Angel series. Because I'm on my one to the fourth angel out of, I think there's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Eight alt altogether. Well, I think there's actually a ninth one out there somewhere. I don't know if it's out of print. Um, I want to go to the Prairie Schooler site. I think because somebody else did a Black Rook Angel that was not in this booklet, but it was like similar. And I don't know, I, I don't know if it was the same size or what, but somebody had posted a picture of one that was a, in a different um, booklet kind of thing. And I think I have a picture of it, but so I would know it. You know, <laughs> if I came across it, but I haven't gone to like the prayer schooler site to see if if it's listed there somehow or or if I'd have to look on eBay or someplace like that to find it. I don't know. But anyway, I would like to finish the Black Rock Angels because they're really pretty quick stitches. What it you know after you get past like the diagonal part about doing their wings that's difficult. After that, it's really pretty easy. Uh, you know, apart from doing their their wings, it, they're it's pretty easy to do. So um, and they're you know they're not very big at all. And so so I'd like to get them all done uh, this year if I can. And. Uh, and then I have like, you know, the, the Halloween stitch along thing that, um, excuse me, that I think Tiny Modders did. And then the Biscormus and, you know, just all kinds of stuff. I keep, <laughs> I used to think I was a monogamous stitcher, but I kind of think that what I do is, is start things and then get them to a certain point and I just get like, if it gets, I don't know if it gets too hard or it gets up to something that it takes me a long time to finish, you know. Uh, it's funny that, like, I had, there, I've there i seen posts of people saying, oh, this is my oldest whip. It's three or four years old or whatever. And I'm thinking, I think my oldest whips are like 20-something years. <laughs> I know one is is the, that I started around the time my nephew was born, maybe shortly after he was born. And my nephew is... Uh, He'll be 23, I think, in August. So, yeah, that's one of my oldest whips. It's, it's, I don't know that it's the oldest, but it's one of the oldest. So I have some that are 20-some 20, 20 years old, you know, some of my whips. And and I I, I think I'm going to finish them. I, I intend to finish them. Um, and then I have, you know, as we all do, a bunch of charts that I think, oh, yeah, I like that. I really like that. Someday I'll stitch it. You know. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I 
don't know. Anyway, so um, so I'm hoping to. I I am kind of enthusiastic about the about the one over one repeat of Barry Baskin because because the original only took me what what did I say Monday Tuesday Wednesday you know three days and so um, if I could work on the whatever one part it's it's a little trickier you know it's a little harder to see it's a little um and on the even weave you know i have to be careful not to like disappear a thread you know get it underneath something um but uh but it but it should be i should be able to finish it probably this coming week this week you know in, in a few days and um so I have some time to look for uh, the perfect backing fabric. I if I don't quite like the way the the, the fabric I have looks on it. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's that's. But um, but yeah, so uh, I I thought of something I was gonna say and I can't remember now. Um, <laughs> making and now I'm just making faces. Um, but like I said, I'd like to finish the, the Blackwork Angels and the Biscornus because, you know, I've, they've been going on forever and they really, they're, 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 they're really not that much, but I just like, I don't know if I'm slower than I think I am or whatever. I'm slower than my ambition <laughs> thinks I am, I guess. But, um, but Yeah. So, um, and, you know, and my sister is kind of itching to, for me to finish the, the model stitching so that, um, we want, we want to do is, is, uh, like open an Etsy shop, I think with these designs. And, um, so sorry, that's my phone. Um, anyway, so yeah, so I, I need to get stitching on that. Um. And now it's my sister called me a little just before I started this, and and uh, because she's at she's uh, with my mom, at, you know, and she said she was she had gone into Fry's, the grocery store, and and uh, and there was somebody out there out front selling Girl Scout cookies. So uh, she was calling me to say, "What kind do you want?" <laughs> and um, yeah, so that's that's kind of a temptation. Anyway, so I think that's, 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 I've, I've blathered on long enough, <laughs> um, but I will, uh, so I'm, I'm going to work on those things and I'll see you on uh, next Saturday, hopefully, um, as far as I know. And, um, I think that's it. Right. Okay. So until next time, I'm Elizabeth Martinez, Fanta Stitches. And you can, uh, I'll, in the description box below, you can, uh, I'll have, where you can find me in the Friday After the Grid group and Stitching with the house, Housewives group, uh, as well as my email address. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to try to link that uh, Arizona Quail freebie uh, in the description box below as well. Um Okay, I think that's it. All right. Uh, so I will see you next time. Bye.